Hi everybody, hello and welcome back to Kate's Mail Corner. I can say welcome back because this is my second video. Thank you for joining me. I am just doing a quick clear coat right here and the reason for that is because I soaked off my dip powder and didn't have time to do a nice long pretty mani. So in order to get through the day without breaking off my nails, I wanted to add a little bit of strength to them. So I did the little clear buildup of the apex right down the middle of the nail that you're seeing right now. And then I did just about a full clear dip. It took me maybe five minutes and then I activated. I didn't buff, I didn't file, I didn't do anything. I just went on with my day. This was just a little bit of protection throughout the day so that I wasn't gonna break any nails off before I had the chance to come back and do something pretty. So I'm gonna finish that up. I wanted to show you guys because I know sometimes you guys must face that in life too where maybe you soaked off or started the process and just don't have time to finish. You don't have to. You can stop and come back to it later and that's what I'm doing right here. So I am going to finish up that clear dip. I'm gonna activate and then I'm gonna come back and show you something pretty. I'm back and there you could see my left hand and what we're going to do to my right hand is exactly that. I thought I would film my right hand for you guys because I am right handed. So I actually find that I take a little more time maybe, maybe a little more care with my right hand because I, I don't want to mess it up and it's harder to control when I'm working my, with my left hand. A tip I should take and I don't but I should, I'll pass on to you guys is um, I've heard girls say that if they do their, so if you're right-handed, if you work with your right hand last, so basically if you do your left hand last, that it's, it's better because you're, you're more fatigued at that point from the whole process and your right hand is just going to be your dominant, more controlled hand. So you should probably do the flip of what I'm doing, but for some reason from day one, I've gotten in the habit of doing it this way and I just never think to reverse it. So I don't know if any of that makes sense, but either way, this is me doing my right hand. 
my, which my right hand is my dominant hand. So what I decided to do was go um, thumb and pinky with a solid coat of Lovely, which is a beautiful like light pink powder with some light pink and silvery glitters from Rebel Nail. And then I decided to do my pointer and ring finger as a vertical ombre, and then my middle finger as a solid uh, confetti, which is that purplish glitter you're seeing there. It's such a pretty color. It goes with so many things, and it's not just like regular shot sized glitter. It's like confetti. I don't know if you know what I mean when I say that, but there's like like thin, tiny pieces of confetti looking pieces. Anyway, it's it's gorgeous and if you can get your hands on it, you should. So I'm going to finish up my solid and then go to my glitter and I will come back and walk you through a vertical ombre. So this is how I like to set up for a vertical ombre. I put the lids of the powders right next to them and then you get a small brush. These are just like our brush makeup brushes. One of them is a Revel brush for doing exactly this. Um, but whatever works for you uh, will work for this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply base to my entire nail. And then starting with one of the colors, so I think I go lovely first, I'm going to go ahead and dip that in the powder and just tap, tap, tap on the brush while rotating my finger to that side. So if you'll notice, it's kind of twisted so that the powder will fall towards the middle of my nail just to give it like a, a subtle blend at the, at the middle. Then you go ahead and tap off your ex excess powder into the lid, it just saves it from being tossed. And then go ahead and tap that glitter onto the other side. 
Now, when I go back for the second coat, I will do the reverse. I should, hopefully I did in this video, uh, do the reverse so I did the glitter first and then went to the lovely. And by just rotating which one you do first, you just get a better blend in the middle, in particular when you're working with two solids versus a more solid color and a glitter. Those I find blend pretty well regardless, but if you're gonna do the same first both times, you might end up with a more defined line down the middle than you will with like a nice blended ombre look. So um, try to remember to do the opposite the second time around to get that really pretty blend. Because what can happen too is you've applied your base to the nail. By the time you get to that second color, it can have dried a bit. And then that second color might not get like a full, a full coat of the powder. So by doing it the opposite first, you're basically getting a heavier coat on that second color because you're using it first when the pro base or whatever base you're using is is wet the most so i hope that made sense you can watch me go through it here i i think a vertical ombre right now is one of my favorite looks it's just so pretty and it can blend that two color mani together from the solid to the glitter back to the solid and i just think it's it's a really beautiful look and it's it's so easy to do so i encourage you to give it a try So that is what my vertical ombre turned out like. I am going to go ahead and coat these in clear. You want to encapsulate any glitters in clear so when you buff and file you don't destroy all your glitter work. And then I'm going to buff and file and I'll be right back. All right, and here I got ahead of or behind myself, whichever way you want to look at it. I have activated and that is me just rubbing off that excess activator onto a paper towel to keep from contaminating my liquids. And here is that top coat. This is the Triple D Dips top coat, which right now is kind of the holy grail of top coats. I should mention that I love their liquids. The base is nice and thin. It goes on smoothly. I've had no problems with it. Activator is activator. To me, it's all the same. And this top coat just gives this glassy, glossy finish that is to die for. The only downside for me of Triple D Dips liquids are that they are only sold in the set of three liquids, and I burn through the base 
a lot faster than a top coat so to me it's nice to be able to buy them separately so you'll see in future videos that i do switch it up with my liquids from time to time um, i had tried triple vitamin in the past and had problems with the base coat cracking but i'm going to give it another try i have a sparkling co base and their new 2.0 top coat coming to me um, i have revel liquids on hand I have a lot of different things that I go back and forth so I will try to give my opinions along the way in case you're interested because I do get a lot of questions about liquids it's the thing that I think snags up a lot of people in their mani process so I do like to say what has worked for me or what I've struggled with oh I also have a peppy gel order on the way so I'll be trying out their liquids for the first time and yeah I will share that with you guys so this is that glossy triple D dips top coat and it is gorgeous I've never had any problem with it it's just really really shiny and it just stays that way so you'll see me finish this up and I'll be back So there you have it, all glossy and ready to dry. Those will dry down in maybe two minutes is probably the minimum I'd give. And I usually test it out with my finger, make sure they're not tacky, and then go in with that cuticle oil. Again, I'm stuck on Candy Skin Care cuticle oil. This is Sweet Spells again. It's just my favorite. It smells so good. You have to try it out. Rub that in. And I also find this helps if you have any product left on your fingers. It just breaks it down. So it's not meant to adhere to your skin and it just kind of breaks that down and leaves you feeling all clean. So thanks for joining me. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments and please subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.